that done, we can now step on this leftmost switch and open up both holes. No, kitty! I couldn't save you! I'm coming for you, kitty! We need to listen to... Where'd the kitty go? The kitty's gone! We need to hit this leftmost switch, and this should open up this thing here, which gives us a power tab! Nice, I will take it. Now, I remember this switch doing something, but apparently it doesn't do anything this time. So let's head out of here. The right one just uh, sends more enemies from what I remember. There's another tab over here. You can't hide those when they're so shiny. Give me that power tab. And we can head back this way, and I do want this treasure right here, which is another full ether. Nice. Those are always appreciated, even though I never use them. I'll use them eventually, though. Eventually. Let's continue on, then, with those guys out of the way. Hopefully, no, they they show up again, and they brought friends this time. But you can't hide that treasure chest from me up here. We get a blue rock. So that sounds like another one of those uh, triple tech items. Let's take a look at it. Uh, we need to organize. Now, I mean, I have way too many items here in my inventory. I fully acknowledge this. I need to, to sell some stuff, but I haven't needed money for a long time. What is this blue rock that you speak of? It invokes the triple tech Omega Flare. So I should uh, at least uh, have one fire enemy. Fire, fire, not enemy, fire user using that. Uh, but I don't know who everybody is. I'll have to, to look all those, those techs up eventually. Now, if we go down here, we can find a treasure chest with a Zodiac cape on it. Now, I do believe that Luke is the only person that can equip capes. Um, yeah. They cannot equip the capes. Only, only the vampire can equip the capes. So, where is that Zodiac cape? Why can't you wear the Zodiac cape? Is it an amp? Not an accessory, is it? As for it, it definitely said cape. What are you, what are you trying to do to me, game? <laughs> You're making me look bad. Apparently, only women can wear it. Magic defense plus ten, plus five more than the Eon suit. That is by far the best thing I have come across. So women, women. Okay, I will decide uh, somebody eventually who can who can wear that. But I have no women with me, so it's not important right now. Weird. Weird. And over here, we get another lapis, uh, which is a nice healing item, I must say. Nice healing item. Let's go up here, and we can take on these enemies here. Who are they bringing? Damn you. Let's continue on then with those guys out of the way. I, I cannot go that way. So let's go up the left. Oh, I see a tab over there though. I see a tab. I want it. Why won't you let me grab it? Uh, you go away. Sweet. All this stuff still works millions of years later. Awesome. I choose left. Left is, is, is the right way this time. And over here, we get ourselves a Frenzy Band. Now, that sounds like another Berserker to me. It's been a while since we've seen anything like that. Where is this Frenzy Band that you speak of? 80% counterattack rate. Huge upgrade as opposed to the uh, Rage Band, which was 50%. Huge upgrade. Uh, but I, I, I don't feel the need for a counterattack at this time, but if I did, I would definitely move it over there. Are you kidding me? So now that those guys are out of the way officially, let's avoid this fight. Damn it, I missed the switch! Put those guys out of the way as well. Let's go down here, and... Is this a rubble? Oh, please tell me it's a rubble. I would love to fight a rubble. It is a rubble! And as a result of that battle with the rubble that did not run away, I'm so happy about that. Uh, Novin was able to learn frog squash. So he is actually done learning his text. I'm going to keep him in the party uh, until the end of this dungeon anyway. Uh, but uh, if we can defeat the other rubble, Bloon will be done too. And then we can start moving on to, to 
other characters that need to get their techs in. Uh, no dual techs or triple techs with uh, Frog Squash, unfortunately. But let's go ahead and take on this guy as well. Come on, die for me! And because I was able to take out that enemy, Bloon has learned Shock. Damage all enemies with max shock, and my entire party no longer needs deck points, which is always a nice place to be. Uh, but I'm going to keep it, like I said, until the end of this dungeon. And Bloom has learned the dual tech a Super Volt with Vash, where he looks like Vash is using uh, Lightning 2, and Bloom is using his new attack, Shulk. Shulk? Wow, what game am I playing? No, Shock. He's using Shock. He's not using a oversized beetle from Morrowind. Okay, let us continue on then, and here we find testicles. Uh, no nothing, nothing in the middle, though. Damn you. Where am I? Oh, this has led me back, uh, yes back to where I can get a power tab. So it's back up the way that we came, I believe. Does this open for me? Yes, it does. Okay, I'll just meet you back at the dinosaur eggs. Now, what does this left one do? I choose you. We get a full tonic. Uh, yeah, I meant to click the left one last time. So now I click the right one. <laughs> but now we can actually do the thing that we are supposed to do. Now that I had that full tonic, was able to get the power tab. Now we can move on. We can head down here, and we do find a save point, which I am going to use. With that done, let's move on. Nothing nothing over here. Let's just open up the, the bones, and in here we get a mini third. Now we can move on. And what is that? Oh, jeez, this doesn't look good at all, does it? Can I run past you? No, no, I cannot. Whoa, oh, you guys just noticed it. Seriously? Seriously? It was huge. How did you miss it? But it's boss time up against Rust Tyranno, which is very similar to the Black Tyranno fight that we had before, except, of course, he's stronger. Now we're going to try to use some uh, powerful techniques like Triple Raid, which I don't think I've ever had a chance to show off. Or if, it, if we have, it's been a long time. Let's use Triple Raid. 2,116 damage. Everybody seems to be losing HP. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Go, Triple Raid! Now, Rustyrno has a ton of HP in it. Just like his predecessor, he uses fire attacks. Especially when he's counting down. So you want to avoid that if you can. <laughs> you want to use the red vests, uh, the red mail, and the ruby vests if you still have them, which I am not smart enough to do. Now this might not be the most effective way of doing damage to him, but it's the way that I like. Let's just keep doing triple raid. You guys slash. You tackle. Go, Bloom Stackle! And slowly we will whittle him down. And by slowly whittle, I mean we're gonna do a lot of damage to him. Alright, we got one more, then I probably need to heal. Uh, probably need to use a dual heal uh, between uh, Nova and Bloom, actually, because, well, he could be doing a lot of damage to me. He could not, though. He could not. Zero. Let's see it. Let's see how much damage are you going to do on Bash. That's the only one I really care about because everybody else should absorb. 397. Not nearly as bad as I was thinking it was going to be. Uh, you go ahead and use a Cure 2 on him. Uh, you guys, what do you have together? Go for... no. No. Max Cyclone? No. Rocket Roll! Go Rocket Roll! Uh, the other ones, uh, they're too costly right now. I would use them, but... Yeah, just too expensive MP-wise. So, that is going to have to do for now. Oh, damn you. Don't eat my blue. That is a ton of damage that you did on my blue. Okay, uh, jeez. Let's go for, uh, yeah, let's go for Super Volt then. Fine, we'll do it. And then you can use a cure too on blue. 
Let's see it. Super Vault! Do the lightning damage. 1817. Nice. So we are going to be able to, well, we should be able <laughs> to, to whittle him down. Oh, seriously? I just healed. I just healed. All right, another cure two on yourself. Let's go for some single attacks here. Go confuse single attacks, I should say. Hit them four times. That actually does pretty good. That does pretty good. Better than the dual text that I was doing. And then uh, you can go for... He's got such low MP. Just go for a tackle. Tackle! 802. So much better than the dual tech I was doing. Not even close to the dual tech I was doing. Okay. But the triple tech I still like. Uh, stop counting down to when I have to heal Vash. Okay, let's go back for the triple raid. I do love this attack. Anytime I can bust out a triple tech, I want to. Even if it doesn't necessarily do as much damage as some of the other things. I like doing the triple attacks, damn it. Come on, Bloon. Damn it, you're not fast enough. Bloon. There we go. Triple raid. Die. 2100. I should mention that you can actually charm a, uh, a red vest. Sorry, not, not a red vest. A red mail off of him, should you desire. But once again, I'm not that big of a fan of stealing in this game. It's rare that I want to do it. Uh, that, that Aussie flea and slash fight is one of the exceptions. But uh, we are still doing quite a bit of damage. I do need to heal Vash again, though. Um, yes, there. Uh, you go for... No. No. It's going to have to be Rocket... No, what am I talking about? It was so much better when I did this. Uh, cure 2 on, on Vash. I hope that hit Vash. <laughs> and a Robo Tackle should be more than enough. Please tell me I didn't heal Rust Tyrano. Thank you. Right person got healed. Damn it. Why do you make me heal so often? It is not nice. Robo Tackle. Another 800 damage. And really my big concern here is, is losing MP before anything else. Damn it. Now I need... Okay, what are we going to do here? We are going to do... Um, you just attack, actually. And you two, you guys do your cure wave. Heal everybody, please. This is going to be the fastest way, I think. For now. Uh, okay, he cured right on to Bloon, who then spun it around and healed everybody. Nicely done, I guess. Ah, uh, he's counting down again. Continue doing the triple tech. Uh, well, it also does, uh... Well, yeah, Bloon's using the most MP out of it, but it's still a lot more MP efficient, I believe, than some of the other things that we could be doing, which is why I like using it. I got one more left in me uh, before Bloon runs out of MP, and you can no longer do it. So let's go ahead and use that again. Now, we should be getting relatively close to finishing him off here. There we go! Down he goes. 3,800 experience, 2,000 gold. No text, not that anybody could use them anyway. And down he goes. Nice. What, what is past him then? Oh, holy crap, is that thing huge? Behold, the rainbow shell. It's too heavy, apparently. Even for Bloom. It weighs a ton. We must get help from Guardia Castle. <sighs> really? We have to go through this all again because... Fine. We'll go through it all again. Uh, this is, yeah, definitely the rainbow shell. Usually they call it something else in other games. <laughs> but in this game it's known as the rainbow shell. We run out of here and we are instantly warped to Guardian Castle where I'm still running down. 
Hello, you're always welcome here. What can I do for you? We asketh a favor. I get it. You want me to keep that huge shell sh safe here until the next century, right? I ask for the sake of Vash. Please carry out their request. Why is Vash running away? Done. I shall obtain the shell and store it in the castle as a national treasure. Knight Captain. Yes, Majesty. Go and obtain the rainbow shell and bring it back in one piece at once, sire. And off he goes. Thanks to thee from one so humble. What's up, dude? Nonsense. You saved the day. Oh, yes. Same thing that you said before. You have nothing to say about the rainbow shell. And that looks like that's going to do it. Uh, for these parts of Let's Play Chrono Trigger, when we come back, I will figure out what the hell I need to do with the rainbow shell. Well, I already know, but we will figure it out together. Hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. I've been Baller Scuba. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.